The YPR-765 is a Dutch infantry fighting vehicle that has become a notable example of adapting a proven platform to meet specific national military requirements. Developed in the 1970s as a local evolution of the American M113 armored personnel carrier, the YPR-765 was designed to combine mobility, firepower, and protection in a single, versatile platform capable of transporting infantry safely on the modern battlefield. Over the decades, it has served reliably in various operational contexts, demonstrating the strengths of a carefully modified and specialized design. The origins of the YPR-765 trace back to the U.S. Army's MICV-65 program, which ultimately produced the M113, based XM-765 prototype. While the United States chose the M2 Bradley as its primary infantry fighting vehicle, the Dutch military saw potential in this M113 derivative. In 1975, the Royal Netherlands Army ordered 889 units, marking a significant step in modernizing its mechanized forces. The vehicle was produced through a collaboration between FMC Corporation and Dutch companies, including DAF and Philips, ensuring that local requirements were incorporated into the final design. One of the defining aspects of the YPR-765 is its hull construction. Combining welded aluminum with spaced laminate steel, the vehicle achieves a careful balance between weight and protection. With a weight of approximately 13.7 tons, a length of 5.26 meters, a width of 2.82 meters, and a height of 2.62 meters, the YPR-765 is compact enough for ease of transport by rail, sea, or air while still accommodating a full infantry squad. The aluminum-based hull allows the vehicle to remain agile without compromising the basic protective measures needed against small arms fire and shell fragments. The vehicle's armament distinguishes it as a true infantry fighting vehicle rather than a mere armored personnel carrier. Its primary weapon is the 25mm Erlikon KBA B02 automatic cannon, capable of engaging light armored vehicles, fortifications, and enemy infantry with precision. A secondary 7.62mm coaxial machine gun provides additional suppression capability, and the platform can be fitted with anti-tank guided missiles to increase its lethality against armored threats. The ammunition capacity is sufficient for prolonged engagements, reducing the need for frequent resupply during sustained operations. Crew configuration is another key aspect of the YPR-765's design. The vehicle accommodates a three-person crew, commander, gunner, and driver, while also transporting up to seven infantry soldiers in the rear compartment. The commander and gunner are positioned in the turret, giving them optimal visibility and control over the vehicle's weapons. The driver, seated in the front, benefits from a combination of standard and night vision optics, enhancing mobility in low visibility conditions. Troops in the rear are protected from small arms fire and shell fragments and can exit rapidly via the rear ramp for dismounted combat operations. Mobility is a central feature of the YPR-765. Powered by a diesel engine producing 320 horsepower, the vehicle can reach speeds of up to 65 km per hour on roads and 45 km per hour off-road. Its operational range is approximately 500 km, allowing extended missions without frequent refueling. The independent suspension system provides stability across rough terrain, ensuring both crew comfort and operational effectiveness. Amphibious capability allows the YPR-765 to traverse water obstacles up to 1.2 meters deep without preparation, and with additional equipment, deeper crossings are feasible. Protection measures for the YPR-765 focus on survivability in typical combat scenarios rather than full-scale anti-tank defense. The armor provides effective resistance against small arms and shrapnel but is vulnerable to modern anti-armor weapons. Smoke grenade launchers enhance battlefield survivability, enabling the vehicle to obscure its movements or facilitate a tactical withdrawal when under heavy fire. These defensive measures, combined with mobility and firepower, allow the YPR-765 to operate effectively in combined arms formations. The versatility of the YPR-765 is further underscored by its multiple variants. Command versions incorporate advanced communication systems for battlefield coordination, 
while engineering variants carry equipment for mine clearance and obstacle removal. Medical evacuation models enable the safe transport of casualties under combat conditions. This modularity ensures that the YPR-765 can be adapted to a wide range of operational requirements, making it a flexible and cost-effective choice for mechanized units. Operational history confirms the YPR-765's reliability and effectiveness. Dutch forces deployed the vehicle in international peacekeeping missions, including operations in Bosnia and Kosovo, where it demonstrated its ability to perform under demanding conditions. Regular upgrades over the years have kept the vehicle relevant, incorporating improved optics, communications, and targeting systems. Despite its age, the platform continues to provide practical capabilities for a mechanized infantry force. From a logistical standpoint, the YPR-765 benefits from relatively simple maintenance requirements. Its mechanical systems are based on well-tested components, reducing the burden on technical personnel. Spare parts remain accessible, and training requirements for operators and maintenance crews are manageable. This ensures high operational readiness, even in scenarios with limited resources or extended deployments. In summary, the YPR-765 represents a successful adaptation of a classic armored personnel carrier into a fully capable infantry fighting vehicle. While it may not rival modern IFVs in terms of firepower or armor, its balance of mobility, protection, and versatility makes it highly effective in a wide range of operational scenarios. Its ability to transport troops safely, provide direct fire support, and operate across diverse terrains ensures that it remains a valuable asset for armies seeking reliable and cost-effective mechanized solutions. Ultimately, the YPR-765 demonstrates the enduring value of careful design and adaptability. Its combination of proven technology, battlefield effectiveness, and logistical practicality has allowed it to remain relevant for decades. For nations that prioritize reliability, operational flexibility, and balanced capabilities over cutting-edge technology alone, the YPR-765 continues to serve as a dependable platform capable of meeting the demands of modern mechanized warfare.